uh, go to Benjamin in California. Benjamin, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Well, um, last week uh, you guys were kind enough to read uh, a press release I put together about an upco- our upcoming trial, or my upcoming trial for me and my brother for a taxes equal theft sign. And, and this is uh, when you were arrested uh, for having a sign on an overpass in California and also wearing masks at the time. Uh, they charged you with a couple different things. They ended up dropping the mask charge, and you are still facing, what was it, attaching a sign to public property? What's the charge you fa- you're facing? Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of confusing. There are a lot of commas, and in fact, that's part of my story, but um, the first half of the penal code is maliciously destroying like public property, like a sign or something. And then the other half is affixing a sign or affixing an advertisement, essentially. What are they uh, claiming you destroyed? Property. Well, they're not. So um, they're, they're claiming, claiming you were advertising? Fixed, but they're saying we were advertising, that I we see. fixed uh, an advertisement because we, uh, put this, we had the sign held in place to the chain link fence by two overhand knots, loosely tied overhand knots. Right, because it was a monster sign, so it made more sense to, you know, to tie it down to something rather than to stand and hold on to the thing. All right, we didn't want to, you know, we didn't want to hold it, and we didn't want flopping around. But you didn't permanently mar any structure. You didn't, uh, you know, cause any kind of damage to anything. And and should you have, you know, not been harassed by the police and arrested, you would have ended up completely removing any trace that anything was there. I'd imagine. Oh, absolutely. Our plan was to, you know, take it around with us to multiple locations. Mm -hmm. It's it's not like it was strung across the street. I mean, it wasn't yes. in the way of any cars or people walking. No. It was it was right up against a and fence. And you didn't leave it there. I mean, you know, this this is uh, ostensibly one would think that this uh, this law was really for people who are putting up advertisements and running away and right. leaving them there for the intention of uh, you know leaving them there, like stapling an advertisement to a f- telephone pole or something. You like guys that. are standing there in Guy Fox masks on either side of it when the uh, the cops show up. So you're not intending to do anything, but you're making a political statement which is the most protected speech out there. Which they didn't like because in the video that you guys recorded, the cops actually debate with you over whether or not taxes are theft. And uh, really, it was about them not liking what you were saying. Yeah, that's it would have been uh, down interesting down. if your sign had said, we love the uh, California Highway Patrol. <laughs> you know? Well, and they, they, they clearly didn't like us recording them either. They yep. mentioned several times that we can either turn our cameras off or... They'll take them as evidence. Wow. Not fans um, of the First Amendment. Yeah, these, these folks don't like their rights. So we put out that press release because we were supposed to finally go to trial um, next week. Um, but we went to, I guess it's called a trial readiness conference uh-huh. on Friday. Where And, and, and this is, uh, I, I think, a good story, sort of. Um, the DA and uh, my attorney and the judge are talking there in the courtroom. And the DA is trying to explain to the judge what he's charging us with. And the judge, he's an el- older fellow, uh, he face palms uh, <laughs> at the DA t- trying to explain it to him because he, he just can't believe it. Really? The court employees were snickering about it. Um, a couple of the other people in the audience were openly laughing at the idea of what uh, <laughs> the DA was trying to explain how he was charging us. He admitted he still hasn't seen the video. It's been, what, six or seven months since our arrest. Yes, yeah. Um, wow. How long is it? It's, My goodness. it's like this could take up a, a good portion of his day. It's at least seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. And um, Benjamin, do you know uh, if the DA can just drop the case, or is, is he obligated to well, carry this thing out because the, the police initiated Of course he can. He can always drop it. Well, well right. so here's the thing. So this is supposed to be when we do I don't know what, to say we're ready for the trial that happens in you know, a little over a week, right? Right. So the judge uh, tells tells the attorneys, uh, "Look, I do not want this going to through to and through the expense of a jury trial." Uh, and he tells the DA, "You need to settle this." So settle it. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so we so we leave, and uh, our attorney knows this, but we obviously we're not going to take a plea deal for anything. Um, nice. So we we explained to the DA that uh, we would accept him dropping the charges and uh, then he said well no you need to uh, you need to at least take uh, the resisting charge that we're charging you with um, and you know just pay the court fees for it and so we declined 
Uh, Did you ask for a written apology from these uh, stormtroopers that came and told you that uh, they, they were going to stop you from uh, uh, recording and take your cameras as evidence and use essentially the uh, the color of law uh, for theft? N- not yet. <laughs> we're not we're not at that stage yet. Um, Such Gestapo. I, there's, there's a couple other highlights, like uh, our attorney mentioned to the to the judge that we were in Guy Fox mask and asked the judge if he knew who Guy Fox was, and as soon as he said, you know. Do you know who Guy Fox was? The judge goes, remember, remember the 5th of November. Ooh. He's from South Africa and knows all about Guy Fox. Hmm. Okay. Um, I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, that's interesting. The bailiff, the bailiff handed our... I'm no our fan attorney. of Guy Fox, but yeah, I think but... that it's interesting that the judge happens to be able to say that little uh, little rhyme for you. He at least saw the right. movie. Right. Um, the bailiff actually handed our lawyer a sticky note with her email address on it uh, and a note saying she wants a link to the video so she can go watch it. Wow. Um, I don't know. It's just... Yeah, so now we have a, wonderful. A so where does it stand right case. now? Well, so so now, since we couldn't settle it, um, they set a new court date for them setting a new trial date. <laughs> so I don't know when, uh, when we're actually... So how much does this trial. cost you, Benjamin? Yeah, what are you paying for the lawyer? Well, so far we've just given him a retainer and... Uh, I mean, every time he has to go and do something, every time that this prosecutor, this is what the prosecutor is doing at this point, is he's attempting to cost you as much money as possible so that he can mm. punish you in the form of fines to your lawyer. And that was actually one of his uh, statements when he offered his uh, deal to us to uh, take a plea and just pay the court fees. He goes, that would be a lot cheaper than you having to bring your lawyer back. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, my but gosh. For us, and, and... But for us, that's not the point. I mean, if it was about money, we would have just buckled under the next day. Do you day. have, was your lawyer oh. standing there when that was said? Oh, yeah. Okay, so you have corroboration that he's essentially trying to to uh, coerce you by using the legal system. I mean, that sounds like a suit to me. Yeah, he's saying you won't be able to afford justice. This guy well, should be paying your lawyer fees and sending you a personal apology and the apology of the two uh, st- state uh, state. Tr- Boy, troopers, you're a dreamer, aren't you, they are. That's that's what should happen here. Yeah, that'd be nice. With but... any luck, the judge throws it out. So that yeah. would be that would be, keep keep us in the loop. A step please. towards it. Yeah, please let us know, Benjamin. I am interested in what's going on here. Eight eight fifty five four fifty free. I sure I'm sure he said yes. Eight five five four five zero free. Free talk live. 